Hi, welcome all of you on platform of your PD education and uh, your PD education uh, we is the platform where we are providing you the detailed guidance and counseling for higher education uh, abroad as of now in domain of engineering and that is uh, masters ms and phd so how you can proceed for these courses that is what we are guiding you for you know uh, like in india after btech you can go for mtech and phd if you go for phd after btech that is called direct phd uh, similar to that there is a direct phd option in foreign universities also though it is less but it is there are there some benefits of doing phd directly after btech answer is yes lot of benefit related to uh, phd courses abroad especially abroad it may be good in india also but the main benefit we get abroad why because if you want to go for btech to ms in foreign universities then you need to spend money from your pocket because scholarship is not there and even if scholarship is there it is lesser so in europe germany you spend approximately 15 lakh in UK you spend 20 lakh, in 20-25 lakh, US you spend 30 lakh and so on and so forth. So different countries, different universities you spend different money. Now similar to that, now uh, one of the options like uh, not to spend money and uh, not to spend money and uh, uh, do PhD without spending any money is the best option in foreign university which is called direct PhD. That means I get from BTEC to direct PhD admission. Scholarship will be more like in India. If I compare India, then in India PhD scholarship is more than 30,000 and MTech or MS scholarship is 12,500. So that means more than 2.5. Uh, it is approximately 2.5 or more than that. So 2.5 times the scholarship in PhD is given after BTEC. In that you need not to take a single penny from uh, your home. You can financially you can be self-sustaining. So if I get admission into MS after BTEC in foreign university, I am to spend money from in my pocket, approximately 20-25 lakh. If I get admission into PhD after BTEC, I will earn money. I will not spend money, I will earn money. That is one advantage. Second advantage, your visa will be for longer duration because PhD is a long duration course. So you need not to worry, you will learn there a lot. and learning will help you to get good job also third advantage is job only like after btech if you do ms for two years and if suppose next two years you could not adapt and your scores or your uh, uh, you know uh, performance is not good there so getting job may be difficult but in phd you get sufficient time to learn and your visa is for long duration so you will easily get something over there there is one more loophole here while doing phd on the way if you feel that no i'm 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 to take a break you can convert your beat uh, this phd into ms and get into some job i know many of my students who went for phd but then converted their uh, phd into ms and got into job so that is an indirect way did not spend money but got a very good job there is another advantage so doing phd soon fast not spending money earning money get into job overstay there more duration visa these are the advantage everybody would like to do that now here's the catch like in india if you want to get from btech to mtech in iits it is more competitive than to get from btech to phd though requirements are different because in phd high gate score is not required and you have to go for interviews and all those skills are checked but still less gate score student can afford to get into phd abroad it is not like that Abroad, you will not say that, okay, less GRE score will do or less credentials will do. No. Professors will give you direct PhD after BS or BTEC only if your credibility is good, if your academic background is good. Then only you will get it. Otherwise, you will not get it. So, you need to be really competitive. You need to be really good in that so that you can avail that particular benefit. So, that is how it is to be done. So, in India, from BTEC to, you know, PhD, you, from, if you want to get PhD, from BTEC uh, in abroad, you need to be exceptionally good. Now I'm we are, I'm going to show you this week lot of videos, lot of uh, opportunities for direct PhD in countries like USA, where after BS you can directly go for PhD. They mention the details also. Keep watching that. Keep looking for those opportunities. And the best part is you are not to apply. You are to only mail professor as of now. And if professor shows interest, 
then you will be confident okay i will get admission because professor will ask for your cv make a really good cv your pda will help you in that you should have gre or toefl score or something like that see the details what are requirement and you should know okay after btech this is how i can go so if you are a student in btech you know third year finally or m tech and all and if you are interested to go abroad start planning now start planning now because you should have certain things in your hand and you should have some some scores in your hand like gre toefl uh, your cv should be there cover letter should be there so these things should be then there with you transcripts etc so you should be well prepared you should start this process well in time so the moment you graduate you have couple of options with you to uh, pursue your higher education and dreams abroad hope i made my point clear keep watching the videos from where you will get more idea thank you